So you're going on a road trip. You plan out your route, and now you're all set. But wait, are you? Have you even thought about packing? Maybe you should start packing now. That's right, pull out the luggage. Uh, wait, where's your suitcase? Do you have one? Oh, well, work with what you've got. There, you've got bags. Now go start packing. Only bring the essentials. And then, if they don't quite fit in the bag, just make it fit. Is that what you tell yourself? Is that working for you? Maybe you should start with clothes. Everyone needs clothes when they travel. Only bring what you need, nothing more. Oh my. If you find yourself dropping clothes, then you're probably carrying too many. If this is you, maybe we need to find a way to cut down. Yeah, pick up your mess. Oh, now that you've got that spool, do you even have room for what you need? What about the fun? If you're going to the beach, you're gonna need some essentials. Did you even pack your swimsuit? Yeah, just try to make that floaty fit. Stuff it in there. I'm sure that'll work. A little close, right? You think, you hope. If this is you and you're dealing with the same frustrations where your pool floaty and pool noodle won't fit, you're gonna end up frustrated and not ready to go before you even start. Maybe you have a case of overpackers. That's right, I said it, overpackers. It sounds serious and it is, but if you watch this video all the way to the end, you'll know how to pack like a champ. Learn to pack right, efficiently, and stay organized so you can have the perfect vacay. Okay, let's talk packing tips. We have some cool and a few packing tips that are unusual but very useful. Let's start with the basics. Packing clothes. There's three different ways. First one is the roll technique. With this one, you're gonna wanna fold your shirt in half, shake out those wrinkles, fold in those sleeves, and then you're gonna fold it a second time right down the middle. And then when you start to roll, you're gonna to wanna to roll up from the bottom. That way, if there's a logo or a design on your shirt, you can see which one it is when you put it in your suitcase. Also, you can even do this with your shorts or your pants. Honestly, this is easier for kids than it is adults because it's a little bit more bulky with bigger sizes, but you can still try it. So this one, we're gonna fold our shirt into a smaller square. So take it. Fold it in half, similar to the roll-up technique. But we're going to try to just get it into a small square. So fold it in half again after you fold the arms in. And make three folds. And again, this way you can see your logo. So, logo's up, that way you know what's in here. Now, for our next technique is the lay flat technique. So basically, you're gonna fold your pants normally. You don't need to fold anything for your shirts. You just lay it flat on top so there's no wrinkles. So maybe you're worried about wrinkles when you roll your shirts. So it is wrinkly, but hopefully we found something to get rid of the wrinkles. Here, Mom, toss it to me. So we found this at Walmart for $1. It's Downy Wrinkle Releaser. So first you want to lay it flat, flat on the ground and spray it. Okay. And then you're supposed to smooth it out and get all the wrinkles out of it while it's laying flat or you can hang it up, it says. So smooth it out. Okay. And we'll let that dry. Yep. Let's move on to the next technique. All right, while the shirt's drying, we're gonna move on to jewelry. Yup. All right, so maybe you're looking for some ways to travel with some of your jewelry. Maybe you're going for an evening out and you wanna take some earrings, your necklace, but often when you travel, necklaces end up tangled, jewelry can end up lost, and that's not good. So we came up with some ways that you can travel with all of your jewelry safely and securely. Yep. So this one, I had a pill container that I got. This one's really large. You don't have to get one that's this big. I know that they sell them in like two 
or four or do even just a row, you could get that to take. I have all my earrings in there. You can get, if you really want big containers, if you are jewelry obsessed, you can go and get one of these um, jewelry organizers. I, I don't even know if it's for jewelry. It's like just like an organizer. Hobby Lobby or Michaels or somewhere for like $5, I think. I'm not sure how much that was. I've had that for a while. But we actually found these smaller containers at Walmart that we absolutely love. I think they were like 88 cents. Yeah. So you can go back and watch our shopping video and our shopping haul video. Definitely something to check out so you can see everything that we are using for back. Another great place to look for containers is Dollar Store. There were so many things that I was tempted to buy, but we had already found our containers for jewelry. But these would be awesome for holding earrings. So if you need this, something like that, check it out. Favorite. I think this tip is super cool. Right, so your necklaces do not get tangled. What are they gonna do? Jayla, how do we use the straws? Flip your necklace into two straws and they won't get tangled. If you have the bendy kind, you wanna cut the little bendy part off because your necklace could get stuck in there. <laughs> that wouldn't be fun to try to get it out. And depending on how big your necklace clasp is, you might wanna be sure to get bigger straws, which I'm actually not even positive this one's going to fit, so. These straws are little, but you just slide your necklace through like so. I'm gonna need a little help, Jilla. Okay. Pull that through. And you can either do just one, or if you're worried about it, you can put one on the other side and then clasp it. And then you end up with this, which is pretty amazing because then none of your jewelry gets tangled. So you can either get a longer container of these, because they have those two, and you could stick all that in there. Or you could just get yourself a Ziploc bag, stick all your necklaces in there, and you are good to go. Yep. Speaking of Ziploc bags, you're going to want to pick up a large amount of Ziplocs to use for other things. This one's going to sound weird, but use it to pack your socks and your underwear. Go ahead and roll up your underwear and put them in there just like it's a new package. That way you can see how many pairs you have and when you need to do laundry. You know when you're like walking on a muddy, muddy trail or you stepped in something and you have to put it back in your suitcase? Well, shower caps are very useful. See, you put the shower caps on the bottom of your shoes. So then when you put them back in your suitcase, it doesn't get all muddy. If you missed the last video, then you probably didn't see these large bags we got from Five Below. These are amazing. We used them for so many different things, but they're great for carrying in your pillows, carrying things like sweatshirts or blankets in and out of the hotel rooms, even keeping some of them empty, putting them in your suitcase and using them for dirty clothes or souvenirs. We ended up coming home with quite a few. Also, get some of these large pencil pouch sized bags. These little zipper bags are great. We ended up putting all of our bathroom items in there and it was so handy. So every time we got to the hotel, we would empty the bag and just take that straight to the bathroom and we didn't have to rummage through our suitcase to figure out where our hairbrush was or toothbrush. Handy. So we told you we were going to show you the shirt once we were done. And it's been sitting here for about 20, 30 minutes now. And it looks pretty good. I think we're gonna be using that all the way across the country. That's pretty Definitely. awesome. Go pick it up in the travel section at Walmart. Get you some five below bags, shower caps, some straws for your necklaces. Yep. Make sure to do what, Jayla? Subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and click that bell. Bye. Is this how you plan to travel? <laughs>
you struggle to leave anything behind? <laughs> then maybe you have a case of overpackers. <laughs> maybe you have a case of overpackers. I know, it's a serious condition, but do not worry. Very secure. By watching this video, you will learn helpful tips, tricks, and ways to stay organized and travel with as minimal items by everything you need. <laughs> hey Jayla, big yeah. brain. <laughs> big brain. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> big brain. <laughs> wow. You think maybe we should actually like pack for real life? <laughs> Be sure to shop our store, Rising Up. You can find it through Instagram or the link in our description. We've got designs that are made especially with you in mind. Everything from infants through adults and things like masks, fanny packs, bags, and so much more. Even if you have somebody that hasn't seen Rising Up, you may find something that's a perfect gift for a friend or family member, especially if they are an adventure lover like us. You can even find products to match with your dog. Yes, that's right, sweatshirts for your dog. Go ahead and click the link in the description and shop now. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Before you leave, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And you're gonna wanna open up that description because inside the description you'll find links to our Instagram accounts, other YouTube channels, and you don't wanna miss our free trial for Epidemic Sound if you like today's music. And there's so much more. Also, if you click the logo down below, you can see what other videos we have and what's going to premiere next. And you can hit that reminder so that way you remember to chat with us live. New videos come out each week, but to watch more now, click one of the videos down below.